Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and I am so excited about today's video because I get to talk about foundations. So I'm going to be talking about my top 10 recommendations for foundations for this summer. Now remember that foundations are a bit subjective because everyone's skin type is different and even though you and I might glowy foundations, you know, the formula may not work for your skin and all of that stuff that we know about. But these are the foundations that I think are great for um, for this summer and I'll explain to you in detail why I recommend each one of those. So if this is your first time here, I'd love to say welcome and thank you so much for just clicking on my video and taking time out of your day to watch. I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe um, and you know, be a part of the family here. And if you are a returning subscriber once again, I'm always appreciative of your support, your watch, your likes, your comments, and all of the above. I truly do appreciate it. So let's just get right into the video. So I first want to start off with, I guess, what's on my face. So this is the only foundation that I actually have two of because that's how much I love it. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is a this is a favorite of so many people for so many reasons. Um, number one, I really love this foundation because it is a soft matte. So I wear the shade 330 in the fall winter time and then I'm the shade 350 in the summertime. So that's what I have on my face now. And I just love that it's not too drying for my face during the summer. Um, it is a bit too dry for my face in the winter time, but I just take a little bit of oil mix it in with the foundation and I'm good to go. It's so long wearing, it doesn't, um, it's not finicky so I don't have to use a particular concealer and powder with it. It works well with any type of concealer, any type of powder and it's like, it is a go-to when I need a foundation to make my face look good, to last all day long, it is a go-to. Next, we have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I wear mine in the shade 8.75 and this is a foundation that I wear when I want to be glam and just feel really, really good. So this foundation, yes, it is a little bit more pricey. The Fenty Beauty Foundation is $35. This one is a good $65. And I don't wear this foundation every day because it is a little bit more expensive. But if I'm going to weddings in the summer or I'm going to an event that I really want to glam myself up for and um, just, you know, want to have good glowing but not too dewy skin, this is the foundation that I reach for. This also has really good wear time on it. I am not going to get like 12 hours of wear out of this, but this is just a perfect like special event, I'm going to be taking flash photography and I just want to look flawless, this is a go-to. I recommend it for summer because it works well in the heat so it's not going to be like slipping and sliding off of your face and I just think whenever I wear it, I feel so flawless in it, so go-to. The next one, we've got a drugstore foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match. I wear mine in the shade N7 and this is a classic for a reason because it's great number one in terms of its shade range, then you have such great coverage. So this is a more recent find for me, when I say recent, like I think I tried this April or May, um, because for some reason prior to that I just couldn't find a color match, <laughs> and then I found one. I don't know, sometimes I just don't know what I'd be doing sometimes when I'm looking for foundations. But I just love the look of the foundation on my skin, it's lightweight, it's not heavy, it lasts so well on the skin and it's just one of those like no mess no fuss foundations. NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Love this foundation. So I'm in the shade Caddis and I love the glow that it gives. So I would say that if you're oily, this might be a, a little too dewy for you or you might just have to blot a little more throughout the day but it's not as glowy as I thought it would be so I remember when I really had oily skin I stayed away from this I didn't even try it until this year um, because my skin normalized and I was like okay well you know everybody loves this foundation let me try it and I love it so when I want to go for like a light glowy look I reach for this one. It's got pretty good wear out of it too because I remember when I first tried it, I wasn't expecting to get more than like six hours of wear because I'm thinking sheer, dewy, glowy, those types of foundations usually don't get you through a full work day and beyond. But this actually has pretty good wear and it's really 
really just so complimentary to the skin. Like I have worn this foundation when I just go, I want a little bit of coverage, some highlights, some blush, mascara, and a lip. This is a good foundation for that. It's it's good for simple looks, but then you can also, you know, do it up, glam it up, and do a full beat, and it works well for that too. So I highly recommend that one as well. I highly recommend all of those, so I'm gonna stop saying that because that's gonna get annoying to me. Probably to y'all, but to me too. Here is one of my bougie ones. Tom Ford Trace Lipstick Foundation. I wear the shade Sienna. Y'all, I don't know why I'm doing this because I act like I'm gonna put it on my face and I'm not. This is like, so worth it. It really is. So, light coverage. This is more of your light to medium coverage type of foundation. Um, when I say medium, you're not going to get like full medium, but you're going to get like a, a solid medium. But when I really just want a no makeup makeup type of look, I reach for this one. If I want like a nice, you know, a little more glammed up work look, but I just want to feel like bougie and radiant, here we go. This foundation is so good, but outside of the bouginess, it lasts. And that makes it so worth it. Put this on. A, I set all of these powders. I mean, powders. I set all of these foundations. The only ones that I don't really have to set that I've talked about so far would be the Fenty Beauty. If I don't want to set it, I don't have to, but I'm wearing it today and I set it as well because it just makes any foundation last longer. Back to this one. This foundation, I just don't have too many words to describe how great my skin looks when I wear it. And it lasts long and I don't break out from any of these foundations that I'm talking about. I don't break out from them. And it's so good. Like if I have to recommend two luxury foundations, wait, I got three, because I haven't talked about two yet. But the three luxury foundations, actually four, because I forgot about the <laughs> Armani one. Okay, the four luxury foundations that I would recommend to you are the ones that are in this video. In my opinion, all of them are worth the price because of how they make your skin look. All of them last long, and it's something about I don't know, it's something about these luxury foundations that are worth it because I own a $120 foundation that is not in this video. So all luxury is not good, but this one right here, I'm telling you, if you had your eye on it, you need to pick it up. And while we're talking about Tom Ford, let me just talk about this one. This is the Tom Ford Waterproof Foundation Concealer. I wear the same shade Sienna. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I think I talked about this. Was my June monthly favorites? I think it was my June monthly favorites. This foundation literally blows all of these other ones out of the water because for some reason, this makes my foundation look the best. It's great coverage. So it's a it's it's marketed as a foundation and a concealer. So it gives me excellent coverage. I can get full coverage if I want to. I can get a solid medium coverage or I can share it out. So it's very flexible in the formula. It just looks like my skin is 15 times better. Like I, I really, every time I talk about this foundation, I don't have enough words to describe it because it's just my favorite. I am so heartbroken though because I found out Monday, no Tuesday, no it was Monday, this foundation is being discontinued. And I'm like, Tom, why are you doing this to me? Do you know how long it takes a girl to find her like one true love foundation and now you're taking it away from me? But this is what I'm gonna do and this is what I suggest to you, for you to do. You can do this with the Tom Ford Traceless, Traceless Foundation and for this one. If you haven't heard of the Estee Lauder outlet, that is um, an outlet makeup store that sells all Estee Lauder owned brands. So. Tom Ford, Bobbi Brown, MAC, Tarte, I mean not Tarte, Too Faced, on and on and on. So what they do is they are going to sell the items that are either being discontinued or the items that they kind of make in surplus that are not really selling too well in Sephora, Ulta, and so forth. So I actually found both of these at the outlet stores. The ones near me are called the cosmetic company stores, but I know that they're called uh, their, their name is different based on where you live. So I would just Google Estee Lauder outlet stores near you to see if, if um, you have one near you. Both of these foundations retail for $88, but 
when I bought these, they were on sale. They had been marked down to like $60 and then they were selling them for like a 40% off. So it made them basically a high-end price foundation. So now that I know that this is going to be discontinued, I am going to start looking for it in my outlet store so I can stock up on it because y'all, out of like I said, out of all these foundations, if I had to only wear one for the rest of my life, it would be that one. And I say that with confidence. And if y'all know me, you know I'm a true foundation junkie. I love trying new foundations, but that one, honey, honey. Okay, let's wrap this video up. I don't have too many more to talk about. Okay, we have another drugstore. So Every Hue Beauty All Day Wear Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. This is such a really good foundation. It's marketed as a tinted moisturizer, but honestly, the coverage that it gives, this is a foundation. So you can wear it very sheer to get your more tinted moisturizer look or you can actually pack this bad boy on and get really solid medium coverage it looks great and I remember um, when I talked about this foundation I had told you all I had worn it for like 12 or 14 hours and went to go uh, see my sisters and they were like what are you wearing and I was like I know doesn't she look good so yes this is such a good one I'm in the shade praline and it's packed with a lot of vitamins in it it's really hydrating and you've got your SPF in it so this is a really good drugstore option as well if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer and if you are a woman of color every hue beauty is a uh, brand that's more women of color friendly with their shades so I would definitely check them out especially if you've been looking for one and you don't want to spend too much money this is my last luxury foundation that I'm recommending in this video Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation I wear mine in the shade dark stand by this foundation I love it for my everyday go-to foundation I don't wear this every day because I have a lot of foundation but <laughs> if I'm not sure what I want to wear, but I want light to medium coverage, I want my face to look very smooth, flawless, and I want to maybe not wear a ton of makeup, this is the foundation that I go for. I have worn this foundation with more makeup, but because I'm not going to get more than like light medium coverage out of this, I'm not going to wear this foundation for like a full beat. But just everyday simple go-to makeup looks that I just want my skin to look very vibrant, youthful, boosted. This is the foundation that I go for. Okay, my last drugstore recommendation is the Maybelline Dream Cover, Dream Urban Urban Cover Foundation. Um, this is their full coverage protective makeup sunscreen foundation, and I have mine in the shade 330 Toffee. Such a good foundation I recently did a full day wear test on this foundation and I also compared this foundation to a high-end foundation and this actually was a dupe for it in my opinion and it's marketed as a sunscreen protective product this is a really good foundation I get a strong medium coverage from this foundation um, so I would say this is a, a good medium to fuller coverage foundation. It's got SPF 50 in it, so you're getting a really good protective base with this foundation. And I like that it is pollution protection, antioxidant enriched, and um, it didn't break me out. Because a lot of times when foundations have SPF in it, sometimes if there's a lot of that in it, it can break you up, but it did not break me out. So I really, really, really like this one, especially for it being a drugstore option. The downside to this foundation is that there's only 12 shades. Maybelline, we need you to do better, okay? We know you can do better because you've done it before. Um, so yeah, that is the downside about this foundation. My last foundation recommendation is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I wear mine in the shade RG75. I've done a review of this foundation. Have I done a full day? I don't know. If I have, I'll link it in the cards. But I have raved about this foundation in a couple of videos. And this, now, this is for my girls that love the glow. Like, you really want to glow. Um, if you have oily skin, you probably won't like this because this actually has oil in it. And this is glowy. Like, when I put it on, I'm like, and I love it. I'm all here for it. I definitely set this with the powder so that I can get more wear out of it. And I would say setting this with the powder, I can get a strong 
seven to eight hours wear out of it before I feel like it starts to break down. But I will say, when this breaks down, it breaks down very nicely. So I don't feel like at the seven, eight hour mark, I have to immediately take my makeup off because it looks patchy and gross and disgusting. It still looks very well because I've worn this foundation longer than eight hours and I haven't felt, like I said, I haven't felt the need to be like, eesh, I need to take this off right away. But the glow that it gives and like the buoyancy that it adds to your skin, it's just life and I thoroughly enjoy it. So yes, even though this has oil in it, this even though this is very dewy and glowy, I feel like for summertime, that's the kind of skin that we want. We want dewy, glowy, vibrant looking skin, and I really do recommend that one. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you enjoyed these recommendations. Let me know down in the comments section below what your favorite foundations are for the summer, because if I haven't tried it, I'm gonna wanna try it. You know, we still got a good month and a half two months, depending on where you live longer of summer months, so I'd love to hear your recommendations, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.